Today it's time for another Q&A video and today I am here with my friend the Pavlovskaya rooster. So let's get started. Okay, so for someone who's a first time chicken owner, I'll just assume that they want some bird that's more docile, maybe calm. So I would probably recommend the Pita Pinta Astoriana. They're super sweet. Or maybe the Mechelin Turkey Head. They're pretty big birds, but again, they're super docile, super calm, and they love snacks. So you'll easily be able to bond with them and they'll come right up to you. Yes, chickens have an entire language. So they have all these different vocalizations that indicate, you know, hey, I found some food to, oh my goodness, there's a predator or a threat nearby. They have different vocalizations for like aerial predators versus something like on the ground coming toward them. So they have all kinds of things they're talking about all day. So they will preen their feathers just like other birds. So, and they'll also take sand baths, which is kind of funny, right? You clean themselves with dirt, but that's how they remove like mites and excess, you know, um, like if they have poop on their feathers and then preening, of course, those are the, those are the main ways they keep clean. Normally when hens get their back kind of gets bare it's normally from the roosters mounting them and sometimes that's due to them like being the favorite hen if there's like too many hens to not enough boys so normally I'll either a try to fix the ratio so that that one hen isn't being targeted or they make what's called a hen saddle so it's like a piece of cloth you can put it has like elastic bands you can put it around the wing so it just protects their back from like the claws, the nails of the rooster. And then sometimes we'll trim the spurs. Well, we normally trim the spurs a couple times a year, just in case, um, cause sometimes it can cut their back up if they flip off and that kind of thing. So we ship orders all across the United States to Alaska and um, Hawaii. And we've also sent a few orders to Puerto Rico. Not in my experience. Uh, normally the chickens don't wander toward the pond. Now, I guess if the gator was up here and he could eat one, it would happen, but I've never seen it and hopefully never does happen. <laughs> yeah, they can. Uh, you know, you have to pay attention on how you introduce new birds to existing birds, but if they're raised together, you know, normally they do very well. We have some pins here who all who are um it's filled with all females so all pullets and they they get fine we have also pins with all boys they get fine they, they get along fine too so yeah i think so i mean once they kind of learn that you're bringing tasty food they readily will run up to you so i think they do i think they have the ability to recognize a few faces and people they're not used to they're like stranger danger but. so we use a food right now from Calmback feed so we use that for our layer pellets as well as our chick starter 100 percent yes so different breeds have different temperaments as well as personalities so you have some breeds like this guy who's normally more calm and laid back so they're not gonna be ones that are gonna run up to you right away. They may kind of hang back for a little bit, whereas other breeds are more flighty. So they're not gonna bond as fast with them or they're not gonna bond as fast with you, you know? So I think, yeah, they definitely have different personalities. Well, all of our auto sexing breeds are very, very popular. We always sell out pretty quickly. But I want to say that the number one last year was the Black Copper Morans. And I think the main reason that was is because everyone wanted that really nice dark chocolate egg color. So right now, I believe we have around a thousand birds on the farm that includes all of our grow outs. So I think we have around 600 breeder chickens right now. 
my responsibilities vary from day to day, but normally um, I'm like overseeing the farm team. I'm also normally the one overseeing um, order planning, fulfillment, like packing them um, and shipping them out. And then of course, I'm also helping the other teammates collect eggs and do miscellaneous farm chores. Um, so it kind of depends on the day, but a little bit of everything. You'd probably have some crazy looking birds. So it would have to be a watermill rooster mating with a Haganti hen. So I would imagine that you would probably have some bearded, long leg chickens that would look kind of crazy. I'm not really sure what would happen. So the most flamboyant would definitely have to be the Pavlaskaya, this guy. So he has that amazing crest, that beard, he has a split comb, and he has fully feathered legs. I mean, he's just a showstopper. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's Q&A video. Please make sure to send us more questions so that I can't answer more of them for you. I'll have a special guest next time. And with that, we'll see you guys later. Bye.